everybody. Uh, I believe that we've all got a journey and destiny um, to fulfil. Uh, going back on my career from beginning to where I am now, um, we, we all find out eventually what our purpose is and everybody's got a purpose but we don't always know what it is and you can find out probably at the beginning of your life, middle or end or somewhere in between. Um, but we've, we've all got a purpose and we might not know what that purpose is, it, it, it doesn't matter how big or little it is. Uh, if it's as little as just being a, a family member and being there for family and friends or it's just a little job or it's something bigger than that it, it doesn't really matter, we've all got a purpose and it's quite hard to uh, know what our purpose is and sometimes I get a bit down and depressed about it and, and not sure where we're going in life but it does all unravel at some point in your life like I said, either beginning, middle, end and again somewhere, be somewhere in between um, so I've kind of discovered uh, my potential and purpose really through uh, my career and it's only really happened in the last um, four years really since I've been in this position at Barnsley College, uh, the Learning Technologies role and doing the teaching. Um, for me it just uh, it's all stemmed from there. Uh, it's not the best word to describe but um, Really, I'm a like an underdog. Um, I've kind of like, like I said on that Hello Daniel Scott video. I've started from very little um, to building myself up to to become something. And I actually tweeted a while back um, this uh, statement here: Underdogs, it is time to step up. You don't have to have anything. Position yourself and be sure of your intention. The rest will follow. So what I'm saying is that. Uh, you don't have to have anything. I had very little. Um, it was a good back, uh, well, since me, I started this job at Barnsley College about four years ago. Um, but you don't have to have anything. I, I, like I said, I, I had very little. Um, but the most important thing is you've got to realise what, what's your aim, what, um, what's your objectives. Um, you've got to use them. And then that's the positioning itself. And the rest will follow. It just comes naturally. So don't, you don't need to worry about anything else. Uh, and I did a lot of worrying, but really there's no need because if you've got that aim, it's your dream, you just need to follow it, everything else just slots into place, it, it, it all happens. Um, but one of my purposes as well, um, I, I, what I believe in is uh, I'm quite simplistic. <laughs> um, I, I'm not that academic, um, I, I probably am, but that's just um, put my little insecurity on it. But uh, I, one of my purposes, main purposes, is to um, do all this learning, but then give it all back to everybody else. So my learning is your learning. Um, I I just learn it all and then give it back in a simplistic way, and I think that's what people want. I know there's like higher levels of stuff, but um, we all like it to be a simple at the end of the day. If we don't get it, we don't get it. It's simple. Um, so. Uh, and I like to think that I'm doing it all for right reasons um, and again I think the underdogs do it for the right reasons because education is not being given to them on a, a plate um, you know we've, we've had to work for it, I've had to work for it uh, a lot of people leave school and it's, it's natural for them, they've done really well which is a great thing and then and they might take it for granted you know they know the stuff and it's been a bit of a breeze for them but people like myself it's been quite hard to um, really get through it. So um, it comes from the heart, we do it for the right reasons and then we give it back for the right reasons because I do believe there's a lot of people out there that just take education for granted and it's it's not about that. It's um, really <laughs> giving it a good go just like myself and some people like to learn um, during school or college and then that's it and that's fine. Like I said, I, I'm, I feel that I'm meant to do more and that's why I keep learning all the time and I just keep giving it back in, in such a way. If to excuse me, I've just got some notes here. <laughs> um, yeah, it's. I think edu education does get taken for granted and it's um, not about that. Um, and we don't hear a lot about we don't hear a lot about um, real success stories, to be honest. There's a lot of success stories out there, 
uh, how people have naturally progressed, uh, you know, from uh, school, college, higher education, but real success stories like uh, something a bit like myself from kind of like nothing to something. We don't hear a lot about those stories. It's just all about you know kind of like the genetic stuff, um, which which is really good. I'm not I'm not like knocking it, but I think we need to hear more in, inspirational stuff. And that, again, that's another reason for me to um, to start sharing what I'm sharing because I think a lot of people need to hear it. Uh, but what what can I say? Uh, like the last four years in my job, in this current job, what I'm still in. I mean. I mean, damn! <laughs> I get to teach teachers on. I just get to teach teachers on uh, my innovative thinking, all the learning that I'm doing. I'm just sharing to them, either through uh, creative use and innovative use of technology, or just because um, I'm coming to the, or coming towards the end of the details at the moment. Um, I'm like learning teaching, so I'm still giving back back in in useful ways, but. Yeah, so really that's kind of like my my purpose, and I've got many purposes. That's just like the main career one. But yeah, it, it is hard to find what your potential and purpose is. Like I said, I won't worry about it too much. It, it does, it it does come naturally. Anything else just falls into place. Yeah, I've just found in the last few years that yeah, it's yeah, it, this is. Uh, what I'm meant to do, I'm sticking with it, I'm going to push um, my boundaries, educational boundaries, that's what I intend to do, I'm not sure how right now, but yeah, let's just uh, set the benchmark for that one, <laughs> but yeah, uh, thank you for listening.